the humble camera is a truly fascinating invention. Sure, cameras are everywhere these days, but if you take a look at the definition of one, it's nothing short of a superpower. Cameras can capture a moment as it was and then allow us to visit it whenever we would want. Over the last couple of centuries, inventors and engineers around the world have refined the technology that goes behind clicking the perfect picture or video. From this to this, it's been a long journey. But it seems like digital still cameras are on their way out. So what happened to them? The camera industry has been following a steady downward trend since the last decade. Broadly, cameras are divided into two types interchangeable lens cameras and point-and-shoot cameras. The latter constitutes the majority of total camera sales. And in 2010, their peak sales coincided with the combined all-time high sales of cameras. Interchangeable lens cameras, on the other hand, peaked in 2012. And after that, it's all been tumbling down. In 2012, one of the pioneers of modern photography, Kodak, filed for bankruptcy. Another iconic brand, Olympus, also quit the camera market in 2019. But the year 2020 was particularly harsh. The COVID-19 lockdown restrictions around the world affected not just the supply, but also the demand for digital cameras. Take this report from Camera and Imaging Products Association or SEPA, for instance. This is how camera shipments looked like in 2019. There was a sharp decline by the end of the year, which carried forward to a rather horrendous looking first half of 2020. However, the sales seemed to have picked up after August, when restrictions started lifting globally and the market started to ease up just a little bit. During this time, some brands found ways to grow, thanks to innovative product and marketing strategies. Take Fujifilm for example. Along with Sony and Canon, it was the only camera brand that grew in 2020. Fujifilm as a brand, we have took strategic decisions during the last two years. We have shifted our entire marketing to online, which uh, let me let me be uh, very clear on this, that Fujifilm was one of the camera brands which did not degrew over the last uh, year. Rather, we grew in double digits, irrespective of COVID. Thanks to our decisions, thanks to our immediate actions which we have taken, to move towards digital uh, marketing media that helped us to gain more momentum and gain more share. This is Arun Babu, General Manager at Fujifilm India. We spoke to him about the changing landscape of the camera industry and also gained some insights on Fujifilm's plans for the present and the future during the launch of its new medium frame mirrorless interchangeable lens camera, the Fujifilm GFX 50S Mark II. Basis our internal survey and basis the import data, Fujifilm share was almost 17% in mirrorless segment uh, in overall Indian market. The fall of digital camera sales can be attributed to several factors. The biggest one is the rise of the smartphone. In the late 2000s, there was a change in the way we perceived photography. Social media platforms became the de facto mode of sharing photographs and the smartphone soon became the de facto mode of photography. Smartphones have gotten better and better at clicking photos over the years. As they got better, it just made sense to the average person to cut out the extra step of taking out a standalone camera and then going through the lengthy process of transferring images and then uploading them on the social media. It's all just so instant and it's so ironic as well as we are living in a time that has the most number of images clicked and shared if you are a smartphone user, you keep shooting images, you start posting it on social media, you get good likes, you feel motivated that I should click more and more images, I should improve my photography. Then that thing came to, comes to your mind that I should own a photograph, uh, photography related camera, a good camera. So it's a vicious circle as long as more and more and more people use mobile as a product. But when it comes to serious photography, when it comes to professional photography, when it comes to high-end features like zoom, the background defocus, the color tonality, the dynamic range, you have to move to a 
professional camera. This brings us to the big change that happened over the last decade. The one that happened within the camera industry. The rise of the mirrorless cameras. Gone are the days of DSLRs that had bulky Penta mirror modules in them. Nowadays, customers are eyeing lightweight mirrorless cameras that offer more convenience than DSLRs. As a result, they have taken the lion's share of the digital camera market and are actually fueling the growth of the market overall. The trend is towards mirrorless. There is a always, already a shift in US and European markets. You can see more than 50% or 60% market is already shifted to mirrorless. In India, that trend is increasing over the past few years. It was 20% in 2019, 2020 it rose up to 35%. I strongly believe that by end of 2021, the mirrorless contribution will be more than 50% following the trend of US and European markets. So being uh, Fujifilm as a brand, we are completely mirrorless brand. And that's the reason why our uh, share is also increasing and our performance is also improving year on year. This brings us to the latest offering by Fujifilm, the GFX 50S Mark II. Going up against the likes of the Sony Alpha A7R4, Nikon Z7 Mark II and Canon EOS R5, the GFX 50S Mark II speaks a lot about the company's vision. From 2017 till now, we have introduced almost uh, four cameras and this is our fifth camera in the range. So the third 50 megapixel camera, before that the first camera was GFX 50S and then came 50R, then 100 megapixel camera GFX 100 and then 100S and then finally 50S Mark II. So the basic uh, myth about the GFX camera is that it's very costly, it's very bulky, you can use for only specific genre of photography that is commercial photography or fashion photography. We are breaking all this myth with the launch of this particular camera. From the affordability, affordability point of view, this camera body is only priced at 3,79,999 which is at par with a uh, lot of full frame cameras and cheaper than a lot of high end full frame cameras in the market. 